Another day here in San Salvador. I am actually about to check into a hotel in San Benito. So I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of this place and then show you um, what to do in the area. Uh, maybe where to go eat, where to hang out. So this is the area I'm at, uh, where the hotel is located, Hotel Villa Serena. All right, so walking in now. All right, walking into the hotel and the reception area. Okay, so just got my key, gonna go to my room right now. I got um, on the first floor again, uh, room 104. You can see here that they disinfected the room. Let's walk in. Here's the key that they gave me. Not, um, not a little card. Okay. Let's walk in, let's walk in. Not the biggest room, but comfortable. Uh, here, let's see, let's, well actually first let me, let me take off my shoes. All right, so the restroom, spacious, clean. I mean, that's all I need. Um, right here, we got a little patio area. You can come out here and hang out. We have a fridge, desk, TV. Let's see if there's Netflix, hopefully. And then a little closet. So this hotel is uh, a little bit more affordable than when I stayed at Barcelo San Salvador. Uh, a night I am paying $46. Um, I booked through uh, booking.com. Um, and I know this area, um, I love San Benito. So this is usually um, my hangout spots. Um, there's a lot, a lot of different plazas. So if you saw in my Barcelo video, uh, there was a Olivos Plaza. I found out about a different plaza uh, that has a bistro cafe that I love now. Uh, so hopefully I can show you in this vlog, but if not, I'll show you some other stuff to do in the area. Uh, but yeah, affordable stay. I um, mean, you know, if you're splitting it in half, even more affordable um, and in a safe area here in El Salvador. Um, granted, I never really talked about like safety and, and all these different areas, but like just like any any country you go to, you just have to know, um, you know, not put yourself out there. So when I walked in, it's kind of funny. I, I was like, hey, uh, can I have permission to record um, the facility, you know, the hotel, the surrounding areas? And then they were like, yeah, yes. They're like, why are you making a video? And I was like, oh, I'm just making a vlog to show people where they can stay in San Salvador, a nice safe area, you know, there's stuff to do, literally what I just told you guys. So he was like, oh yeah, sure. And then he was like, um, if you want, I can show you the rooms upstairs, the rooms in on the third level. But right now they don't, um, they, they've closed off the third level because of COVID. So I think what they do is they, they let people stay on the first floor and second floor um, one week and then they change it up where they use the third floor and then the second floor or, they, or change it up somewhere like that so uh, that way they have time to uh, clean each room right so uh, I'm going to show you the rooms upstairs and see what that's like maybe it's better than here maybe it has a view of San Salvador I'm not sure um, but yeah let's go all right so just stepped out right now of my room and then I noticed over here that they have a mural. It says San Benito, so this area is named after a saint. Nice little mural. And then these birds right here are the national bird of El Salvador. So also a nice cute little area to hang out right here. See, peaceful. Even though we are in the city, it is quiet. Okay, so let's go to reception and see if he will show us the room. All right, so just took the elevator and right now we're going to the room. A lot brighter up here, but let's see. 
our friend Roger here is helping me out, just kind of showing you. This room has two beds and somewhat of a view. You can see, oh, it does, oh, nice. So one thing led to another, and now pretty much this whole floor is open for me uh, to vlog, to show you guys uh, the rooms. Like I said, he was nice enough to open up different rooms on this floor for me. So this volcano right here, and I just asked, so I am not incorrect, and uh, the uh, San Salvador volcano. So El Volcán de San Salvador, right here, beautiful view. We're lucky that today it's not raining, but let me show you one of the rooms. Okay, so this is for a longer stay. So you see here we have somewhat of a living room set up with a desk. And then we enter into the room. We have not a closet, but a, a drawer of sorts. And then we have the bed here, a C. Also, we got a little kitchen area. And we got our fridge, we got our microwave. We've got our sink here, and then we have the restroom, which is not as spacious as mine, but it gets the job done, okay? And then over here, I'm gonna show you a different room. Oh, and before I forget though, both of these rooms are $52 a night. So here with this one, we have uh, one queen size bed, then we have the kitchen area, and then we have the restroom. Yep. All right, so on the same floor, we have another room here. This one nice and bright uh, with a view of the volcano. All right, but let me show you the room as well. Uh, we got AC, a desk, and then we have one queen size bed here, a place to store all your stuff, TV, and then we have the spacious restroom, which looks super clean, seriously. They take care of, of the, clean, the cleanliness factor here, not a problem. All right, here we have the business center. As you can see, a little bit spacious. They have a, um, whiteboard over there, they have a TV, and then here's some, some map of El Salvador, and then another one. So I also wanted to show you, funny enough, the uh, hotel where I stayed at before, Barcelo San Salvador, is right in front of me. So you can see not too far away from uh, where I stayed before. Love this area, San Benito, don't forget it, come visit. Uh, but let me show you the breakfast area. So not breakfast time just yet. But you can see a nice comfortable place to eat. So breakfast is included um, with your stay. Uh, you see here we have huevos revueltos, tostadas a la francesa, cereal con leche, we have el típico salvadoreño, you know, typical Salvadoran breakfast with your plantains, your scrambled eggs, your frijoles, your coffee, and then they do have pupusas on Fridays. So nice menu. I also want to show you here they have some, some pictures of things that are located in El Salvador. So they have Salvador del Mundo, and they have here the Volcan de Santa Ana, which I haven't done yet. Uh, but right behind El Lago de Santa, uh, right behind the Volcan de Santa Ana, you can see El Lago de Coatepeque, beautiful. Uh, yeah, so there's so much to do in El Salvador. I also wanted to show you this towel. They framed it up really nice. At some point in your life, if you're a Salvadoran, you own this towel. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. All right, guys, good morning, good morning. So next day here in uh, the hotel, I woke up a little bit later than I thought I was. Uh, but right now I'm gonna go see if there's still breakfast. 
um, just because it is almost 10 a.m. and checkout is at 11. Hitting the streets right now, trying to get something to eat. Uh, I know of this one place called Andiang Bistro Cafe. Let's go get some coffee. All right, so you can see right here is um, a little plaza. They have a taco bar, they have a burger joint, they have uh, frozen yogurt, and the other plaza that I'm gonna go to. So here's the plaza, it's called Atrio, and we're going to Andian Bistro Cafe. You can see this is somewhat of an upscale looking area. Okay, change of plans. So uh, the cafe was way too packed with people so I couldn't get a seat um, and checkout is in a few minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna come back in. I came back here to the room just to eat. Uh, look at this. I got a, a apple tart and then a croissant. The croissant was a dollar. I believe this one was like $4 and then my coffee was like $2 and something cents. So not bad. Uh, my new favorite place, Andian Bistro and Cafe. So check out Andian if you're ever here in San Benito. So what do you guys think? Would you guys stay here? Uh, I enjoyed my stay, comfortable. Uh, there's definitely a lot around. Uh, so I would recommend it. Uh, you can come and see for yourself. Uh, stay in this area, um, walk around, it's safe. At least I felt safe and I was walking by myself, right? So all good. <laughs> So I thought I would also show you guys, not too far, they have uh, some food trucks in the area. And then since I'm walking to the mall right now, uh, there is a, the uh, National Theater and a museum in the area. So this is, going, this is the uh, National Theater, which of course right now it's closed uh, because of COVID. Here is the uh, National Theater. Luckily today, it's a beautiful day. So also wanted to show you here, this is the uh, National Art Museum. Uh, and unfortunately in June of right now, 2021, it's uh, closed uh, due to renovation. But I'm gonna pan around also and show you guys another little plaza in the area. And this is the uh, plaza with the uh, Sheraton Hotel.